Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC and we got the original Mini Mono in the workshop. And over here we got the successor of this one, which is the M500. And I'm going to release the Maiden Run video probably next week, so stay tuned for that. But today we're going to run this Mini Mono again and we're going to run with a different motor. So this is a Rocket RC 2948 3450 kV motor and it performs great. It is perfectly suitable for this hull. Uh, the top speed with this motor and uh, a three blade prop is 76 kilometers an hour, which is about 47 miles an hour. And for a 20 inch mono, that's pretty fast. And today I'm going to try this Turnigy 2858 motor, which is in this box. And this is a 2900 kV motor and uh, it has a little bit longer can. So this is a 48 this is a 58 millimeter long can. You can also see the difference when I hold it together like this. So this motor has lower KV, uh, but it has more torque due to the longer can. So I'm very curious how this motor will perform. I also have this motor installed in my shrimp riggers. And this over here you can see this is the exact same motor. And uh, this shrimp rigger with this motor on 4S runs easily 80 plus kilometers an hour or 50 plus miles an hour. Today we're going to test it on 3S in this mini mono. But first I'm going to change these connectors because I'm running 4 millimeter connectors and these are just 3.5. So we're going to solder the 4 millimeter connectors on. Then I'm going to install this motor in the boat and then we're heading to the pond to try it out. Got the motor installed. I also put a cooling jacket with the cooling lines. I put the four millimeter gold connectors. I also spaced the wiring apart with these tie wraps because if these connectors are touching each other, they generate a lot of heat. And uh, with these tie wraps, you force them apart from each other and the heat can dissipate easier. The only thing left to do before I'm going to run it is on the bottom side. If you've seen my latest video on the mini mono, you know that I tried running with the lifting strakes, four of them, and I decided to get rid of the inside two. I actually wanted to remove all the lifting strakes because the hull runs so good without the lifting strakes and I didn't really see any improvement with the lifting strakes. But after some of your comments mentioning that the inside two particularly were very close to the keel, too close, I thought all right, let's try to just remove the inside lifting strakes and keep the outside ones. Only thing left to do now is to smooth the bottom with some fine sandpaper to remove the glue marks. We are at the pond with the Mini Mono. I installed a 3000 milliamp hour 3S battery and we're going to run this Turnigy XK motor. We're going to put the GPS in. 
So I'm going to zero it. Zero. All right. So GPS will be put here. Put the hatch on. Tape it up and try it out. All right. There we go. Okay, nice, nice. Wow, it runs great. And also, what I directly notice, that removing the inside lifting strakes really helped with the cornering of this hull. Basically, it corners like before now. And the speed is quite good as well. But it's running a little bit wet. But I really like the way it runs. And especially how, how it corners. Full speed corner. Oh. Now, it still corners a little bit less if I push it. Oh! With these lifting strikes. But it's definitely improved already by removing the inside lifting strikes. But I'm going to remove the outside lifting strokes as well. I'm pretty convinced now. Cooling works well. Such a fun little boat, this. This boat was really the surprise of 2024 and I'm also really curious how its successor will run the M500 We will find out soon, I hope to meet and run it next week I got the mini mono back on the shore. Actually, it started to sink bottom up. Man, so unlucky. Because of the cold weather, the tape doesn't stick. So water came in the hull and it started to fill up. So the GPS is difficult to read, but it still reads a top speed of 64 km an hour, which is not bad at all. Because I think with the 3450 kV motor I think I got a top speed of 69 km an hour recently so it's about 5 km an hour less which I think is pretty good since it has a lower kV so I'm going to bring it back to the workshop take out the hardware let it dry and then hopefully it will be ready for the next run thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time bye